Hi guys, this is Brian and this is my video on how to reset a password on a Solaris system in Unix. Um, so I'm using a virtual machine and I have the luxury, if I didn't have my root access, I have the luxury of a mouse click and I could just power the machine down and restart it. In real life, um, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be quite that simple. Um, you would have to have physical access to a, the server and you would need a CD to boot from, or you would need to boot it from the network from a boot server. Um, that's how you would have to go about, you know, restarting the system in real life. Um, right here, like I said, I'm in a virtual machine. Now, after you start the machine and resets and reboots, the procedure is identical to what you would do. So we're going to start my Solaris machine right now. So when the machine powers up, um, it's going to go to the grub screen, which is right here, and you're going to click fail safe. Now, when you click fail safe, it's going to take a minute, but it's going to end up booting to a command prompt. It's going to ask you, it's going to come up and it's going to ask you if you want to mount the file system and you're going to hit yes for that. So we'll see that in one second here when it pops up. And do you wish to have your file system mounted on A? And you're going to hit yes for that. And you see comes up your hashtag shell prompt comes up. So a couple things we're going to do from here. Um, to, in order for us to access the root file system, we need to type cd slash A. And then we want to change to a bash prompt. Now for the commands you type here, you will not start them off with a slash character. You're just going to start the commands off. Um, so we're going to do bin bash. So bin slash bash. And that'll change us to a bash prompt. That'll make it easier for us. We'll have our command history in there. So once you do that, the next thing you have to do is you have to export your terminal and your editor into the file system. So real easy, you're going to type export, then in capital letters, term equals VT100, and then capital letters, editor equals V. Now we want to verify that that worked. We're going to use the echo command to do that. It's going to be echo dollar sign term, and you'll see VT100. Type it again, echo dollar sign editor, and you'll see V. We're good to go with that. So once we do that, the next thing we want to do is we want to cat our Etsy shadow file. So once again, just cat, no slash to start, and no slash Etsy slash shadow. And you'll see that on the top, the fourth line down, that's our root file. And after the colon to the next colon, that's the encryption. That's what we need to delete. Once we delete that, that deletes the password for our root system. Then that will allow us to reboot the system and reset our own password. So we're going to V Etsy shadow. And a little different here in in this shell particularly, um, the arrow keys do not work. So since if, if it's right on the root, um, if your cursor is right at the top on the root, you're going to hit the L key to move over. And you want to move to the first character after the colon. And the X key still is your delete, and you delete everything up to the colon. And then after that's done, you're going to hit escape. And then colon, WQ, exclamation point, enter. Now, we can verify that by catting the XE shadow file again. And you'll see that the root um, does not have the encryption any longer. Once we do that, um, we just need to reboot the system. Now the system will reboot as normal. This time we're just going to reboot into our Solaris system. And we're just going to hit enter. Now, when this comes up, we're going to log in as root. Okay. 
Okay, and as we boot into our GUI, I'm going to log in as root, and it will not ask me for a password. And the one thing you do want to do is make 100% sure the very first thing you do is open your terminal. And you just want to set a new password for your root. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And that's simply the PASSWD command. You'll have to type it twice. And password successfully changed for root. And that's it. It's actually a pretty simple um, process for resetting your password. So hopefully this video helped you out. Um, something you could follow along with pretty simple. I'm also doing one on a Linux system. I'll be resetting the password on my CentOS. That'll be the next video I do. Uh, thanks. If you like it, if you like these videos, subscribe and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks.